Welcome. And today we'll dive into the stories and reactions to the post from Feeling Better Today titled My sister-in-law tried to hijack my son's birthday for her gender reveal party. Hi, this is Derek. I just put the drama llama Fred back in his pen so that I can do this quick video for you with some of the stuff that Fred found on Reddit earlier today. If this is your first time watching our videos, help me out by watching to the end and then giving me some feedback in the comment area below. And if you want more of these videos daily, don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications turned on for this channel. Oh boy, let's get ready for some stories. Feeling better too day posted. My sister-in-law tried to hijack my son's birthday for her gender reveal party. My husband and I have two children, both boys, now aged 11 and 14. My husband's younger sister now has 3 children aged 7 a female, 5 a male and 3 a male. The year my youngest son, let's shorten to YS for the story, was turning 4. He asked for a birthday party. He was not yet in school and so he did not know anyone but family. And there were no children other than his brother that were able to attend. Luckily, his favorite people in the world are grandpa and grandma, dad's parents. Grandma is like a big kid. She's super fun and energetic. She acts much like a kid herself and my boys adore her. I knew they were very busy so I asked them several months in advance if they could attend his birthday party. The party was to be on his birthday. This is important. Being the wonderful grandparents they are, they agreed and requested that time off from their jobs. We also invited all close by family, including my sister-in-law, the entitled mother of the story. Months go by and it's now about a week and a half before my son's big day. I've bought the decorations, planned the menu and pumped him up. I like to sing a final countdown song as I prepare breakfast in the morning. One afternoon I receive a call from my sister-in-law who is about to find out the sex of her baby. She's pregnant with baby number 1. She wants to plan a gender reveal party, but she's called her friends and family and discovered that most work and can't attend without several weeks notice for their jobs. The only day everyone just so happens to have off is my son's birthday. Would I be willing to move my son's birthday party to another day so she can have her party? At this point it may bear mentioning that she already has 3 baby showers planned and has asked me to make the food out of pocket for one of the showers. Most people being asked to attend her gender reveal party were already attending multiple baby showers for her. I am pretty friendly and passive. This caught me very off guard. I tried to gently tell her that my son was looking forward to this and we've had it planned for months. which is why everyone had it off from work. She feigned sympathy but still urged me to please move my son's birthday party to a time that everyone could later attend. And let her have this open date for her party for her first baby. While you've already had two. Besides, my younger son loves babies and would want to go to her party too. He could still come to my party and see everyone he loves and then get to do it all over again when everyone can request time off. I didn't have time to gather a response as she steamrolled over me, me saying, Okay. If they want to go, I won't make them come to my youngest son's party. But I can't go to your party. We have plans and her responding thanks. I was angry. She had pulled this kind of thing with other people before. I have tons of stories. But she had always really loved my boys and never tried this with me or not to this extreme anyway. I didn't know how to react other than vent to my husband, her brother, who wasn't surprised at all and said not to worry and that their dad would set her straight. Funny enough, I was talking to my husband when I saw him, father-in-law, calling my phone. I answered and he said that my sister-in-law had told him I had no problem with her hijacking my son's birthday, and I had insisted she have the party and everyone go to that one instead of my younger sons. He said if this was true that he would attend her party, but he would way rather go to the party of my youngest son. He'd already gotten presents and they were excited about celebrating a kid that's already here on his big day. I very happily told him that I was never going to cancel his birthday or make him sit through someone else's party on his big day. I mean, he's 4 and I've been counting down for him every morning. What kind of monster would I be? I said that I had told sister-in-law that people could go to that if they preferred but that we wouldn't be attending. He said that sounds about right and told her he's going to my youngest son's party. Since he requested time off for that, and if she wants another party another day to give him notice. She canceled or never organized the party and then talked about me behind my back to anyone that would listen for years to follow. 
What are your thoughts on feeling better two days story? Please share in the comments below. Now let's go on to hear how some Reddit members reacted to this story. Chicken Wing 4 Life reacted with. Imagine trying to hijack a 4 year old's birthday. Glad it worked out for you and your son. Smile. Gender reveals can logically take place at any time before the baby is born. So she can just pick another day and give everyone notice. Agreed. She had to have known for at least a month in advance when the sex of her baby would be revealed. The doctor always reminds you so you can plan to have your spouse there. She had notice, and just didn't make the effort to plan anything. Or, you know, just tell people what the baby's sex is at any time or when it's born. Sorry, I think gender reveals are stupid, and I guess it shows. But, seriously she was having three baby showers already. Just announce the gender there if you want to make a production of it. Agreed the best gender reveal is when it's born. Anyone who is like well we have to decorate their room or buy them clothes. What the f? They're a baby. They don't care. Love them and keep them fed and warm. And just and if you care what gender they are maybe you shouldn't be having a baby. She could even have just planned a party for later that day, if she was so desperate. Make it a dinner party instead of stealing a 4 year old's thunder. Personally. I think gender reveals are kind of stupid. Especially when they're held separately from the actual baby shower. Like seriously, just tell people at the baby shower and save yourself the headache of planning a whole other party. But if she needed to have one, it didn't have to be at the same time as the birthday party. Sounds like she's just a narcissist that wanted all eyes on her. Geek is my chic reacted with. What a piece of work stealing a four year old's birthday party it's a big deal to them. Shibby 510 reacted with. I'm usually not confrontational but there is no way that I could have been as nice to my sister-in-law. If she did that as you were. I've met my share of entitled people and I just find myself unable to ignore this level of rudeness from family. I've dealt with not exactly the same but similar situations with my cousin. I just find it so horrible that not only did she try to hijack your son's big day but she also lied. And told people that you encouraged it. I am so glad that your father-in-law had the common sense to talk to you about it instead of just taking her at her word. I wish I could go back and do it over again. I usually need time to absorb before I react as I tend to trip over my words when caught off guard. My father-in-law is an awesome man that loves his children unconditionally. But also recognizes their negative traits. For lack of a better word. He's aware of his daughter's manipulative tendencies, and he always calls her out on it. Unfortunately her mother is cut from the same cloth. And both encourages and assists her in her manipulative endeavors. I know an entitled dummy who tried to hijack her sister's appointment to meet with the child's teacher. Because the entitled dummy insisted her sister must attend her while shopping. Sister told her no as her child had higher priority than shopping. The entitled dummy had the nerve to biatch at me about it. Her comment? How dare she say no to what I want. That kid is in my way. I was here first. I told her to shut the F up and sit the F down. Chupacabra Chewy reacted with. Wow, what kind of sick person would actually try to steal a birthday party from a four-year-old to celebrate someone who hasn't been born or survived through birth? The type of person that think that they are high and mighty and acts like a royalty. Here for a laugh 82 reacted with. Shocked she didn't show up to the little man's birthday with a confetti cannon. And just announced it was a joint party. This is totally how I thought it was going to go and I'm glad it didn't. Lamau. Dad or Doggo reacted with. Man, so many things that irk me about this. Gender reveal parties are peak cringe. Three baby showers? She is vastly overestimating her self-importance. Hijacking a four years old's birthday party? God damn that's some next level attention seeking, entitlement and insecurity. She's lazy and incompetent. She's selfish and callous. She puts her happiness on a pedestal above that of a four-year-old child. That is what irks me the most, like what kind of grown butt adult feels the need to spoil a four-years-old's day. Moderately Nito reacted with. 
I am firmly convinced that anyone who holds a gender reveal party is a narcissist. This story does nothing to disabuse me of the notion. Three baby showers and she wants another party just to reveal the gender. What the F lady? What the F? Why couldn't she have the gender reveal at any one of the three baby showers she was already holding? Just exactly why did she have three baby showers? Was it one of those, work friends, school friends, mom's friends kind of thing? Mango Punches 17 reacted with. This sounds like when my grandma and aunt hijacked my birthday for my aunt's bridal shower and I had to go. I wasted three quarters of my birthday on her crappy bridal shower. Then everyone but my parents forgot it was my birthday. Yeah, I didn't talk to my grandma or my aunt for a month. My mother-in-law did one better, two years in a row she decided that she needed my husband to take her back east. To talk to her friends and to inspect some property there that she owns. No problem, you gotta do what you gotta do, and when you're in your 80s. You need to bring an assistant. Problem was, both times it was my birthday. Why? Because flights were cheaper that week. Suffocating in farts reacted with. My sister and mom tried something similar. It took me a while to get pregnant with my first child. My sister meanwhile accidentally she admits it was planned later, gets pregnant with her fifth kid. While I'm knee deep in fertility testing. She made a big deal about telling me and I kept my cool. Meanwhile I found out I was pregnant about a month later. She was super weird when I told her. Like I was more excited when she told me about her pregnancy than when I told her about mine. Okay so fast forward to third trimesters. My mom and other sister are planning my baby shower. My mom mentions, after visiting with my pregnant sister, that she feels sad no one is throwing my sister a baby shower. I had to ask her to throw mine, and was thinking about combining mine with hers. I shot that down real quick as did my other sister and husband. I should mention I have thrown my sister two other baby showers. One being entirely on my own. Crawl 141 reacted with. Look it's never going to get any better with her until you guys put your foot down. Laugh in her face and say. Nah biatch we are not moving my kid's birthday party. Plus I think gender reveal parties are stupid anyway but you need to just straighten her out. Or it will be like this forever. We have no Karens or Kens in our extended family because we wouldn't put up with that this. You shouldn't either. Waiting for a good time to tell her off. Oh it's right now. Call her up and ask her what her problem is. Friar Friary reacted with. It's more proof gender reveals are just one more attempt by attention seeking parents to make it all about them. Realistic noise too. I think the reason why she hijacked the party is because she figured she could be able to get a free party. Out of you guys pushing your young son away. And making it about her so that people would focus on her gifts would be given to the new baby. And all that type of stuff while the kid would be in the corner crying. Where if she got angry should say shut up it's my party. I know it wouldn't happen. But that's what I was thinking when reading this is that she just wanted something for free. And you put your foot down which is great. Because that is no way to treat a little kid on their birthday. And she knew what she was doing she just figured get something for free. And if she knew when your young son's birthday was she just planned it so she could get her way. And finally. Tired I and TJ reacted with. I'm sorry you had to go through that. What kind of person would try to do that to a four-year-old kid who had been looking forward to that day for months? Also the audacity of saying it's my first baby, you already have two. Like yeah exactly, those two kids already have birthdays they can only celebrate once a year. While with an unborn baby you have months to do a gender reveal party. Stealing the spotlight from a kid and then blaming it on you, how desperate. Well, there you have it. A perfectly great set of reactions from a bunch of upstanding citizens. Help support this channel by smashing the like and subscribe buttons. And hit that silly little bell as well to ensure you get the latest videos as they come out. Fred is always finding stuff for me to post regularly. So this is Derek signing off, thanks for watching. Good grief, it sounds like Fred is out of his pen again. He must have found more stories for me to share with you. See you soon.